Guten Morgen. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I've been working with Hulda uh, for many years. I export most of my horses with uh, Hestrid because I've been knowing her for whatever, 20 years or something. She has been living in Germany um, for a couple of years, long time ago. She speaks fluent German and uh, if you have questions about export, uh, you can always ask her. I always refer to her. Uh, you can ask her in English and German and she can give you all the financial details. And of course Danish also. Um, so multi-language speaking, um, yes. And I just wanted to show you guys how the process looks when you're buying a horse and it's being exported then the day starts with picking them up in beautiful Iceland today like sunlight and six seven degrees Celsius now she's gonna visit all the farms pick up the horses and we are going to Reykjavik to her stable where all the rest of the process with the vets and vet checks starts. Here's the organization for today from Hulta. What we have to pick up and where. It's all super Excel and stuff. And um, there are quite some young horses with on the list, she says, today. And um, as you know, um, we are always telling the the farmers and the sellers that the horses should be tamed some what and the buyers and the buyers and the also have to know this yeah. and the buyers yeah. of course the buyers also have to know this um, that the young horses um, should be, be tamed and haltered and be able to of course touch and walk with from A to B I mean uh, they were going on the flight and it should all be super secure and safe and um, this is really a very important point for all people who are buying horses here in Iceland and who are selling horses here in Iceland that if we are having young horses from foal to whatever not ridden for a year old or something they really really it's really much better for everybody if they are used to being handled in some way and calm so it's a good experience for them you agree, Hilda? Absolutely. Do it's, a, it's, it's not a good experience for a horse to be really scared and, and to come on the export. Just a few days and then it's uh, an exciting experience instead of being terrified. So, uh, you know, a few days makes uh, the world of difference. Exactly, exactly. Because young horses learn so fast, you know, so... Yes, yes, yes. Very good to know. trying to locate the first farm. Hulda has not been here yet, so it's new to her also. Hey. We are picking up the first horse. Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
Johanna, Hulda braucht einen Halfter. Ja, ich habe ja, 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 Pictures for the owners that are about to welcome the new horses. Okay, we're on our way to Reykjavik now. We've already picked up four horses in the south and uh, it's 11.50 and we have an appointment with the first vet in Hulda stable in Reykjavik at 12. Um, Hulda, first vet, what exactly is he doing? First he reads the chip to check that we have uh, the correct horse and then he draws his the stars, the blazes, the, the whirls. Uh, if the horse is a pinto, he, buy, he, he draw the, draws this into the passport and makes a written description of the horse too. Okay, uh, Hulda is referring to uh, the passport. Every horse, uh, in German it's called Equitenpass. Everybody in Germany knows that. Uh, it's the passport that the horse keeps for the rest of his life, right? Yes. Okay, so we were talking about um, uh, Equitenpass, so the horse's passport. So we are going to meet the first vet who is uh, like a drawing in the passport how the horse looks and what kind of signs and colors and everything he has and after that we are gonna meet the how is it what is it called in english uh, official veterinarian who, uh, Amtstierarzt in deutsch and he comes reads the chip again and checks if the horse is in a condition to take a travel if he if he's healthy if he is uh, they're not allowed to have any wounds, they're not allowed to be really skinny and just to be in a shape for uh, traveling. Okay, okay, very good. Um, I will video that later on everything so you guys can, can see that. And so long. Here we are in one of Hulda stables in Reykjavik, starting to check the first horses and uh, fill out the passports for the horses with the first vet, Helgi. Ich 
It's quite a remarkable day today because good to know that Hulda is exporting her 10,000th horse today. 10,000 horses that she has been exporting through the through the years. It's quite some effort. Nú sjá, átta, tveir, tveir, sagði maðurinn. Nú er eitthvað fjör. Finni ekki þetta númer. Finni ekki númerið. Jú, hérna, uss, 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 uss. Nátt stjarna frá garði. 508. Jú, hún er skrá stjarna. Jú, þú ert svo mikil humoristi. Hátt sér 508. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, this procedure here with the first vet, with all okay. clipping all the yeah. numbers in yeah. and filling out the passports is taking quite some time. We have to, Hulda has 25 horses on the plane today, and but they are really fast. So she has a good team. Her daughter here is working for her, and one girl from Austria, Johanna, who's working in Outbucky. And um, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. We had already one horse that was not very much halted trained and it takes of course way longer time so uh, it's really really important that buyers and sellers uh, are aware of and know that the young horses folds until four years old until they're ridden uh, that they are halted trained and uh, handled and no problem to get them in the box and put the halter on and walk with them from A to B. Um, it's really important, it makes all the work and all the journey for the horse so much easier. So Hulda, um, tell me about a uh, little about that uh, office part of the process. You are, of course, here. We have the owner certificate, mm -hmm. you guys, which you get later, which is the official uh, proof of ownership proof of ownership outside of Iceland, because in Iceland it's uh, World Fengur. And uh, the, the process is like this. You're sending your invoice to everybody when? Few days before departure, I sent the uh, uh, invoice and and, and uh, bank information and so on. Yeah. And the people pay. <laughs> exactly. And then they get their owner's certificates and sent uh, in the post. Sent in the post, exactly. Okay. And here is. Here are all the owner certificates yes. that are about to go in the post. Yes. Awesome. Great. So the owner certificates, uh, all the buyers get in, uh, on the postal way. Mm -hmm. And the uh, 
horse passports, yep. equipment passes, are coming with the horses. Yes. Maybe you missed it because of that. You missed something here too. Yeah. This is like one the world. Picture, yeah. uh, it's out there. And but he was choking with Edda when we. <laughs> you see? Oh, yeah. you see? <laughs> So no, I have a blue pen, so I cannot I cannot change over the point and the name of this one. Um, but no, um, it's important to get the, um, the Rose, head and, and face right because we start from the face and then we go for the limbs and then we check the body. Okay. So that's how we do. Cool. But tell me, uh, if you've been working with the export for some years, uh, have you have you had horses that you had to stop? Yes, I did. Um, whenever there is um, something, uh, I did have uh, one horse we had to stop because uh, it got just injured on the way to the airport. Okay. So okay. of course the like fresh injury. Okay. Of course then. Qualify them from oh. going anywhere else. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, yeah. Cool. When do you start in the morning when you have to check like fifth, so many 58 horses? Uh, I started today uh, at 10. Okay. Uh, I have four exporters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Of them are based here in the Yeah. And one of them is based in Mosfelsbach. Uh, exactly. Okay. So you started at 10 this morning. Yeah. And is this your, is Hestrid and Hulda your last address? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Now we have checked all the horses uh, with the official vet and now Hulda's drivers are coming and we're about to load all the horses to go to the airport. Bye! Bye bye! Get to the with you coming night! Yep! Two trailers with 12 horses each. There is a total of 58 horses on the plane tonight. And now we just have to load Hulda's seven horses. That means a total uh, of, yeah, 58 horses on the plane in total and 25 for Hulda.
it looks like this. A container. Now we're um, loading some stallions, as you can see, and the stallions always have a plate in between them, of course. stallions on the left and on the right here is number 10,000 vets always checking that everything is safe and sound 